This is the M4 MacBook Air. And in this video, I'm gonna be covering everything you need to know about this laptop from the perspective of a professional designer and creative. And I'm gonna tell you if you should buy this thing for $8.99. My name is Grayson. This is Grayson's Graphics. I cover videos about design on this channel. If we haven't met before, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be pretty cool. We're going to be talking about this M4 MacBook Air for graphic designers, illustrators, creatives, whatever you do. And this is a completely unsponsored video. I wish it was sponsored. <laughs> but no, this is just an honest review. So let's get started. When you open the box here, it's pretty simple nowadays. You just get the charger. This is a MagSafe charger. So if you trip on the cord, it pops out. Out. And then you get this little envelope, which it doesn't have a sticker in it anymore, unfortunately. And you get your charging brick, which now has two USB-C ports. For the laptop itself, you've got four colors to choose from, which are silver, which is the one I've got right here. You can pick the new sky blue. You could pick starlight, which is kind of like the goldish color, and midnight. My only recommendation here is I bought the midnight and returned it. I don't care about this type of stuff normally, but the fingerprint were crazy. It looked terrible. The, that MacBook looked disgusting. And I'm, again, I don't care about that whatsoever, but it was too much for me. So I'd stay away from midnight and get whatever color suits your fancy. It comes in two different sizes, which is the 13 inch, which is this one, and the 15 inch, which is this one. This is my older M2 MacBook Air, but it is the same exact size as the M4 15 inch. Again, this is totally personal preference too. The 13 inch is probably what I would recommend people because it's just so light. It's a little bit around two pounds. It's so thin. You could just throw it in a backpack. I like the 15 inch because I do a lot of video editing here, but for any other reason, probably just stick with the 13 inch and you'll be happy and you save a little bit of money. So the reason you're here, why is this MacBook different? Why should you buy it? Why would it be great for a designer or a creative? The main difference, really the biggest, the only difference is the M4 chip. If you're watching this video, you're probably one of four different type of people. Person A would be the person who has no laptop and they're looking to buy their first computer. Maybe you're going off to college for graphic design or something and you want to buy your first computer. That chip is going to matter a lot to you. If your person B, let's call him Brad, if your name's Brad, you've probably got a MacBook and maybe it's like 10 years old. Maybe it's like a 2015. This chip is going to matter a lot to you. If you're person C, we'll call her Cassidy. If you're Cassidy, you probably have a Windows Surface maybe and you're thinking about switching to a Mac because you're getting into more creative stuff. Chip's going to matter to you. And lastly, if you're person D, Dolphin, if your name is Dolphin, you probably already have an M chip, which means you might have an M1, M2, an M3, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. This this chip does not matter to you. You can just stop watching the video. Just keep what you got. But for the rest of you guys, person A, Brad, Cassidy, let's keep watching and I'm gonna tell you why this chip's important. A few years ago, Apple started making their own computer chips, which is this M line of chips. And I think that was around 2020. So if your MacBook that you currently have is before 2020, you probably have an Intel based chip, which is a chip that Apple bought and put in the computer, which is a totally different animal. As a result of Apple making their own chips, the computers got really powerful and really fast because Apple made these chips exactly exactly how they should be for these computers. It's kind of crazy. When I bought this laptop, I had one of those Intel MacBooks and it was a MacBook Pro and it was souped up, it was specced out so I could do video editing. I downgraded to a MacBook Air and I've never looked back. This thing is way more powerful than my MacBook Pro with all the bells and whistles. So the M4 chip in this is an absolute beast. It will do anything that you really need it to do. Unless you're doing some insane animations or like really heavy 8k 16k video editing you don't need a macbook pro so if you're watching this video to question should i get the macbook pro or should i get the macbook air the m4 macbook air here get the macbook air especially if you're just a designer or if you're just working in adobe products photoshop illustrator even premiere after effects i use those on a daily basis on my m2 macbook air and i have no lag no problems whatsoever 
it is perfectly capable of handling everything I have to do. If you already have an M chip MacBook Air, the only real differences you might see is slightly better performance, like the single click photo enhancer in Pixelmator Pro might be a little bit faster, but you're not gonna notice a big deal. Even if you have an M1 MacBook Air, I don't think you're gonna notice a huge deal in performance compared to an Intel-based Mac or a Windows computer. And one of my favorite things about the M4 chip in a practical sense is that it makes it really light, it makes it really thin, and it's also fanless. So this thing's completely quiet. It doesn't need to start pounding a fan when you do heavy workloads. It can handle pretty much everything. And that's why I like the MacBook Air over the MacBook Pro because it's thinner and you can just take this around really easily and it's a much better form factor. Moving on to the display. This thing's got a great display. It's got a great screen. Macs in general have great displays. It has a billion colors. It has 500 nits of brightness, which is plenty bright. And in my opinion, it's a very accurate screen. It's very true colors. And that's what I find most valuable with Macs. Before I was on a Mac, I remember struggling with color grading my videos and photos. And now that I have a Mac, the screen is just making it so much easier to get an actual white, white. A lot of people argue that Macs have Mac colors, but in my personal experience, I found the colors to be so accurate with printing and photos and videos. And on top of that, most everybody has an iPhone, which the Mac directly converts over to. This screen is going to be pretty much everything you need, but if you care about a brighter screen, a bigger screen, that's a MacBook Pro thing. Despite how thin this thing is, the battery life is 18 hours. In my personal experience, if you're just browsing the internet, if you're just answering emails, you're gonna get all 18 hours. And that doesn't mean like 18 hours from right now to tomorrow. That means like 18 hours of runtime. So you open it, you use it for an hour, you close it, this thing's gonna last you like a week. Now, if you're using Adobe softwares, if you're working in Photoshop, Illustrator, if you're working in Final Cut, Pixelmator, Logic, GarageBand, you're using a heavier software, it's gonna start using that that battery a lot faster. I can work on my old M2 MacBook Air for several hours without any problem, even on those heavier softwares before I need to plug it in. So this thing, despite its smaller size and thinness, it's gonna last you a long time on the battery and you've got MagSafe for when you do plug it in. So the question you've all been waiting for, how much does this thing cost? Well, it is officially $1,000, $999, but you can get it $100 off with the Apple Education discount and you don't need to qualify to be a student to get that. You just go on Google, and you type in Apple Education Store and it brings you to like this Apple website where you can buy Macs for a hundred dollar discount. Again, you don't need any student ID. Anybody can do it. I do it every time I buy something from Apple, even without being a student. Now on top of that, right now in the present day, right here in March, 2025, Apple is offering additional trade-in credit. So if you trade in your current MacBook, if you've got one, they're gonna give you a little extra credit on top of what they would normally offer. So that makes this an even sweeter deal. But most importantly is this MacBook used to be more expensive. I think it was $1,100 and they brought the price down to now $1,000. You add that soon discount, now it's $899. And then you add in your trade-in value with the additional extra credit and you can get this thing for like 500 bucks if you're in the right situation which is really cool. For me, that added an opportunity to upgrade a little bit. So I ended up upgrading this to a one terabyte storage. I found it's really important if you're doing video, photo editing, music, and even graphic design to have a little bit more storage on these computers because you'll run out very quickly if you only get the base storage model. That being said, I don't feel the need to upgrade anything else at all. This computer, the M2, I upgraded the RAM, but the new MacBooks now start with a upgrade RAM already. They start at 16 gigabytes by default for that $899. It's honestly an insane deal that you can buy a brand new MacBook from Apple for $899 and it performs way better than most every other laptop in the market. If you're really on a budget, I would say go on Amazon and pick up an M1 MacBook Air or an M2 MacBook Air. One of the earlier M chips MacBooks, you can find them on Amazon for very cheap and those are fantastic laptops too. But if you can afford to buy a new one, you're looking at this one, 
buy this one off the Apple Education Store for $8.99. Now I want to share a couple of underrated features about this Mac and Macs in general that might kind of tip you over to buy one if you're on like a Windows or if you're on one of these older Macs. A few things come to my mind that I would tell designers and creatives that make Macs sort of the industry standard. For one, while on paper, a lot of laptops may offer better performance. They may say they have a better GPU, they have a better CPU and more RAM. These M series MacBooks are way more efficient. And that's a big difference. More power doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be faster and perform better just because it's got more power. When you start to experience this thing in real life, you'll notice how much faster programs are, even if it's got lesser specs than compared to a Windows laptop or an older MacBook that is souped up. The MacBook also has like a world-class trackpad. You really don't understand how good this thing is until you use it. This is the most underrated feature. I I never hear anybody talking about the trackpad on the Mac, but you can touch anywhere, you can press down anywhere, it's got double tap, it's got gestures. The big thing for me is inside programs, you can zoom in and out of Adobe Illustrator, you can swipe back and forth to navigate. Using the trackpad to navigate is way better than most every other trackpad available and better for designers than a mouse in my opinion. For creatives, there's a feature called preview mode that lets you just press the space bar on a file and the preview of that file pops up. Now, whether this is an Illustrator file, Photoshop, even if it's a video, you can scrub through the video. You can do all these things and zoom in and out without actually having to open the program. This is a huge time saver if you just wanna open up a video without having to like open a media player or look inside your Illustrator artboard without having to load up Illustrator and boot that whole program up. If you're not already in the Apple ecosystem and an Apple fanboy like me, then you probably don't know about how iMessage works. You can just literally drag and drop files, full Photoshop files into text and send it to another person with iMessage. Or if you're in the same room, you can airdrop any file, massive files to another computer. I've got a video where you can connect this thing to an iPad. You can use it as a second display or as a drawing tablet. And if you're looking to work in a creative agency or a branding agency, most places are going to be Mac based. So it is kind of a good thing to get into the Mac system a little bit. And the best part is Apple offers a 14 day free trial. Again, this sounds like a sponsored video. It's not a sponsored video. I go and buy things from Apple all the time for 14 days and return them. There's no questions asked. That's what I did with the Apple Vision Pro and I made a video on that a little while back. So to recap, should you upgrade? Should you buy this for $899? If you're person A and this is your first computer, if you're really on a budget, go buy an M1, M2 off of Amazon. If you can afford the $899, buy this, no questions asked. If you're Brad and you got a 15 year old Mac and it's got the old chip in it, buy this, no doubt about it. If your person C, Cassidy, and you have a Windows Surface, buy this, try it for 14 days, see if you like Macs. I think there's a lot of reasons why you'll end up falling in love with them as a creative. So I would say buy it and try it. And if your person D, Dolphin, you already have an M chip Mac, and I would not recommend that you upgrade or change what you have. At the end of the day, if you're a designer or a creative, you should buy this MacBook Air. It is crazy how far the base model MacBooks have come. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Or if you end up buying this thing, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear what color you got. And if you're confused and you're thinking, maybe I get the M4 iPad Pro, I've made a video just for you. Here it is.